How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Wider Shade of Pale as recorded by Prokel Harum on guitar. This song has a really fun descending chord progression that starts on a C chord and walks down basically the notes of a C major scale. We're going to combine some chords, some walking bass notes, some arpeggio picking and some strumming to play a really cool guitar part. And when you're done with this lesson, you'll have everything you need to go and play this right along with the original recording from top to bottom. But before we get into it, I want to hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. If you're interested in improving your soloing or lead guitar, I've got a free book all about soloing called Melodic Expressions that's got over a hundred licks and exercises in it that you can get at the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play a wider shade of pale on guitar. Now this song is in the key of C and it's all about this descending chord progression that walks down primarily through the scale. There's one part where you do a little chromatic bass line, but it's all about moving that bass down through the scale. So I'll play the intro for you and then I'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four, and... <laughs> So that's our intro, it's an eight bar chord progression, and we're gonna start with primarily two chords per bar, but we're gonna, again, walk the bass down. So we're gonna go C, then we're gonna go to a C over B. So I take that third fret and walk it down. Then we're gonna go to an A minor, and then what I do here is go, so that's our little chromatic bass line. Now the easiest way to play it would just be like stay on A minor and then go to F, but if you want to incorporate that bass line, you could go, most people play A minor like this, you could put your pinky on the third fret there and then your thumb to get the F note, or the F sharp, and then go to F. So one, two, three, four, one. And that's just my typical F here, three, two, one but I use the thumb there on the first fret. So you could do it like that. You could also do it the way I'm doing it, which is just using the third finger and then walk down like that. So that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and those are quarter notes there. Three, four, I'm going G, F sharp, then F. Then we go to E minor. Just your typical E minor chord, then D minor, then we walk the bass and put the C in the bass. And a, a lot of people play D minor like this, but sometimes you have to put that C in the bass or, or play other notes, right? Like that kind of sound or Layla, right? So there I'm going D minor with middle finger, then pinky then index, and that frees up my third finger to be able to put the C in the bass. So that's our first four bars. Here it is one more time. So C, C over B, A minor, walk the bass down to F, E minor, D minor, walk the bass to C. Okay, for the next four bars, we're gonna go So there I went to a G chord, and I play this folk chord voicing all the time, third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, and then pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. And then what we're gonna do is walk the bass down to F. So here's your G chord, then we walk that bass down to the first fret. So it's kind of a crazy chord, right? I'm, I've got my pinky here, and then my thumb here. 
and I'm playing all the strings but muting that fifth string. So my thumb's coming over and just touching that string to mute it. Right? And then you go to E minor, then G. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we go C to F to G. Then we walk the bass. A, B. So that uh, F chord that I played, this is a common... When I'm going C to F a lot of the times, you know, you can hear this like a lot of folk players do this. It's, check out a song, uh, Like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. It's, it's that, that kind of sound. So you've got the C chord there, and then it's really an F over C. So three, three, two, one, one. And I'm muting that sixth string. So again, you could play, you could play this F if you want. I just, I rarely play bar chords uh, these days. <laughs> so F over C like that. So that's two, three, four. Then to G. Then we play again a bass line. Now this is a great song where you just, you have this descending bass line, right? And sometimes you'll have walk downs like. And then sometimes you have walk-ups like or just quarter notes there. So in the intro here, we're coming off the G, we count one, two, then three, four, C. So let me put all this together and I'll say the chords as I play the intro. Here we go, three and four and C over B, A minor, walk the bass, G, F sharp, F, E minor, D minor, over C, G, over F, E minor, G, then C, F over C, G, walk the bass. Then we're into the vocal. We skipped a light fandango is the lyrics there. So then what we do is we play the first six bars of the intro and that's repeated two times. So that's gonna go like this. Three, four, and. again so it's just part of like the intro for the verse it's gonna go again F E minor D minor over C G F in the bass E minor G okay then after we do that two times then we do almost the same thing again it goes C over B it's the same A minor, walk the bass. Then when we get to the D minor, instead of going to C, we're gonna go one, two. And that's the, and so it was, you know, that's that triplet kind of walk up. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and a C. And that's and so it, and so it was. Then we do the intro again. This is the chorus. It's the same as the intro. Now the chorus is basically the intro again. The only difference is in the last bar. It goes like this. Before we had G, then A, B. We had that little walk up. This time it's just like turn to wider, shade of pale. And then we're
are back to the verse. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is a little bit of kind of the strum hand here. So you could take a few different approaches, and I would practice all the chords. Just start by going one, two, three, four, just strumming quarter notes. And then where you have like the bass line, just go three, four, one. Just play single notes, you know? One, two, three, four. Then, once that's comfortable, you could start to add some arpeggio picking, like. And that's a fun way to play as well. So there I'm just sort of picking certain notes out of the chords. And a great way would be start with the bass note. And just keep it eighth notes, like one and two and three and four. And any kind of pattern that you want to play will work. Just make sure you start with the bass note of each chord. So it'd be like one and two and three and four and and then you could mix, you could mix all of this together, like strumming, right? Arpeggio picking. Have fun practicing a whiter shade of pale on guitar. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, don't forget to download my free book all about soloing. And with that book, you'll also get some exclusive blues training videos that are not on YouTube. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're gonna get so much more out of these exclusive videos that come with tabs and sheet music and everything you need handed to you. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below, or if you have questions about the video, leave a comment. I love it when someone asks a question and then someone else chimes in and gives an answer. We can all help each other. That's what it's all about, is building a community and helping each other out. So thank you so much for being a part of it, and we'll see you in the next lesson.